ready to show you a day in the Lockhart life. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and you can let me know down in the comments what you want to see for next time. I like to plan out my outfits the night before, um, just so that everything's ready in the morning, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to pick something to wear for tomorrow. So this is what I picked out. I realize it's spring, but it snowed here today, so it's really cold out. I am going to, uh, tomorrow evening, my friend Jen is hosting, a, like, a little friends and family night for her, uh, the Prairie Gringa Co. Um, so we're gonna go hang out in the Gringa wagon and maybe do some shopping. So, um, I'm gonna wear this teddy coat, which I think will be nice and cozy for that. And then also this shirt is, is from the Prairie Gringa Co. And I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna wear that, tuck it into these jeans. So I just got out of the shower and I'm going to be really quiet because Bobby's sleeping in the next room. I'm just in our own sweet. Um, but I'm going to quickly like get ready, um, dry my hair and uh, I don't know, maybe do my makeup a little bit and get dressed and then I'll go see what's going on in the garden. <laughs> didn't get my makeup done because my hair, hair took way longer to dry than I anticipated, but that's okay. Um, our caregiver is going to leave in about five minutes, so I better get out and see what's going on with Arden. Um, and then I'll probably bring like my makeup and stuff like that and get ready in, uh, finish getting ready in the bathroom that's next to him. So Arden's still sleeping. His caregiver said he had a really good night last night. He slept really well. He sleeps really well usually. He's a he's a good sleeper for a baby, really. Um, so can't complain there. I'm going to make some coffee and finish getting ready. So I'm just gonna go see what's going on with Arden. Um, just thought I'd give you a little view of our space. I'm currently like getting stuff ready to decorate for Arden's birthday. So yeah, I'm gonna go see what's going on with Mr. Arden. He's still sleeping. He is the best sleeping baby, really. He sleeps in, which gives me a chance to get some stuff done in the morning. There's Arden's bed cart set up. from Arden's room, the bathroom. Oh, there's my little hair. <laughs> um, the bathroom that I'm going to get ready in is just right here. So, yeah. That way I'm right next to Arden. happens a lot where he's just sleeping and all of a sudden he starts like flailing and he's upset and coughing and then I need to run in and suction him. Because of the cuff in his trach, he can't make sound so he can't, can't cry out loud right now. Um, so if I was far away I wouldn't know he was in distress. So that's why I have to stay really close to him whenever he's sleeping. So I just had another big suction episode. So that happens uh, usually every morning, whenever Arden kind of starts to wake up or stir, everything that's, you know, in there has been pooled all night. So when he starts to wiggle and wake up, all those secretions start moving again. I'm hoping right now, I think he's going to go back to sleep a little bit, but we'll see what happens. circuit in his sleep. <laughs> so, I'm ready for the day. I'm going to go hang out in Arden's room. 
um, like I said, when he wakes up, a lot of the time there's like a ton of suctioning because everything that's, you know, sitting uh, has been pulled overnight while he sleeps and he's not moving. So once he starts wriggling around, it moves a lot. So um, as soon as he wakes up, there's gonna be a ton of suctioning. I'm hoping to kind of show you guys that, but um, <laughs> it's hard to video and obviously do that at the same time. So I'll do my best. Brody just left for work. Are they still sleeping? <laughs> I'm just hanging out in Arden's room, drinking my coffee. Um, and he is still sleeping, so that's why I'm being so quiet. So I picked out this little onesie for him. It's uh, it's just from Old Navy. Um, it's like a little one piece deal, but it's super cute and it's super soft and and these little bear slippers My mom got them for him when he was still in the hospital and I'm hoping they still fit because they're just adorable So while Arden's sleeping, I'm just gonna go through um, kind of show you some of the things that I do in a day so um I keep notes everywhere, which I find is so important when you're a, a mom of a medically complex little boy. I mean, honestly, all moms have so many things on their mind, so I think keeping notes is a good way to keep track of everything. But I keep track of his weights, um, lengths, like when he's gotten immunizations, he's gonna need his one year right away, actually. Um, and then just any phone appointments that I have. I'm just getting Arden's meds and food ready for the morning so we have all his meds like pre-drawn and i'm also um just heating up his formula and yeah oh and here's arden's feed bag so he has um a feed pump that he uses with his g-tube so look who just woke up good morning arden not a fan of smiling in the morning I just grabbed Arden's feed, uh, feed and his meds, so I'm gonna get those right now, and then you're gonna get dressed, aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna get dressed. So anytime that I give meds or feed Arden, I have to vent his tummy first. So he's had a fundal plication, which is essentially uh, they take the top part of the stomach and wrap it around the uh, bottom part of the esophagus just so that he does not have like reflux. Um, there's less chance of him vomiting, that kind of thing. Um, Cause obviously vomiting increases the chance of aspiration when you're on a ventilator. So we don't want that happening. So for him to burp, he actually, he can't burp uh, to how typical babies would. So for him to do that, we attach his G-tube extension and then we actually pull back on the syringe and get all the air out of his tummy. So we make sure we do that before uh, any meds or feeds and then about 20 minutes uh, after his feeds as well. Anytime we give meds, we also have to flush uh, his G-tube extension line with five mils of water. So that's just to make sure all the meds go in and so I'm going to do that. I just gave him his three meds that he gets in the morning and then I'm going to flush it and then I'm going to hook up his feed so he can eat. So Arden's, I'm just about to get him dressed. Hi buddy. But I wanted to show you um, just what we do for tree care and uh, morning routine and that kind of thing. We also, um, I'm not gonna video me actually doing, or show you guys me actually doing uh, tray care and G-tube care. Uh, there's more about that in our video called Arden's Routines. Uh, but I just wanted to show you what I keep everything in. So I have these little bags that I got just off of Amazon and I have tray care and beauty care we call it, which is just like 
Arden's moisturizer and toothbrush and all that jazz, but I have them labeled home because I also have these bags ready to go um, in his in his go bag for when we travel as well. So um, everything that we need is in here. That way we can do tray care or his routine in any room of the house. We really wanna make everything as convenient as possible. Uh, that way, you know, we're not trying to pack up him and his vent cart and move to another room when we need to do something. Hi. <laughs> Arden is ready for the day, so we're just going to go into the living room now and I'll show you kind of what it looks like to get him all unhooked. Arden set up with some toys and some fun things to do. His feed just ended, so I'll have to flush. Um, oh, be cough. We're gonna need a section. Um, so I'll have to flush his feed, give him a section, and uh, then I'll get started on some tasks for the day. Earlier, I was talking a little bit about what I do to stay organized. So, on in our, um, I keep this day planner and in there I just keep like all of Arden's appointments, um, any phone calls or things I have coming up for different specialists or um, anything like that and then just for myself to keep organized you know when I'm at home trying to stay motivi motivated and just keeping everything going so today unfortunately I have a few calls to make and I hate making phone calls. <laughs> Does anyone else like literally panic when you have to make phone calls? I don't know. I hate them. When I'm on the phone, it's ringing and I'm like, please don't pick up, please don't pick up. <laughs> then I can just leave a message and deal with it later. <laughs> Cause I don't want to deal with it. I hate making phone calls. I just made a call to my work, my central office. So I'm trying to get some leave stuff figured out there. Um, obviously I'm not gonna be able to go back to work right away, so. We're kind of figuring out some things with that. And my school has been really great with that too. So um, I just got Arden set up with some toys. And hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, are you showing mommy your little piggy? That's nice. Um, and then I'm gonna call EI and figure that out. So normally like after that, I think I'll get Arden up, get him doing some some more exercise, but right now he's just gonna hang out with his toys and play um, while I'm on the phone. That way if he needs suction or anything like that, uh, it'll be easy for me to do while I'm on the phone. <laughs> Arden thinks seeing himself in the video is so cute. I have it on like, so that we can see the screen. He loves it. Arden's playing in his little bouncy seat here, so he's like, got his little bouncy chair. Hi, what are you doing? Yeah, he wants to control the video. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna play for a little bit. Um, I'm probably gonna make some lunch soon. And yeah, we'll maybe read some stories. Play in your bouncy chair a little bit. Yeah. I'm getting ready for Arden's birthday. His real birthday is tomorrow. So I want to get some stuff put up for that. I mean, honestly, he's not going to notice. He's only one, but I want to have some really special pictures and some special memories for him. So um, I'm just kind of decorating for that. And yeah, I put up this banner here for our green and gold theme. And I think that's really cute. And then I have this other little banner that 
um, I kind of made, I guess I got like the banner pieces um, from Michael's and then I just used white paper and like did my own writing on them. That way the banner, like they, I just taped those on so that way the banner could be used again. You know, I could save it for other events or whatever. Um, so I'm kind of deciding on where to put this one. And then I think we're actually gonna like do his little birthday kind of like celebration. I mean, obviously it's <laughs> COVID time, so we can't do much with that. But like for our little family, I think we'll actually do his birthday celebrations on Saturday. So in a couple of days. Just gonna give you a section, sanitize hands. Now I'm just going to clean up. Our kitchen is a little bit of a disaster. Uh, so I'm gonna tidy that up a little bit and then probably put, put away some laundry. Mom life, I know, exhilarating, right? Super exciting. <laughs> okay, so it's been a couple hours, but we've been a little bit busy. Um, we just talked to Arden's little BFF Asher on FaceTime, so that was fun. And they really like seeing each other on FaceTime and they always smile and it's really cute. So that's adorable. Uh, Arden met Asher in the NICU at the Stollery and then they were also, so they were roommates there and then they were also room, uh, next door neighbors in the PICU at the Stollery as well. So that was really cool. So we kept in touch with their family and they've been a great support system for us as well. And then I spoke to, I got a call back from my work and my school district just about, um, you know, what's gonna, what the future's gonna look like for my job and whatnot next year. So, um, you know, I'll have more information about that later. I'm just giving Arden his feed right now. So after that, it'll probably be time for a little bit of a nap. When we're in the living room, I just use Arden's feed cart to hang up his feed bag so I just use these little toy clips um, and then it hangs on here and then his feed pump just clamps onto his vent cart right here and then from there this just hooks up and hooks to his little g-tube extension and then goes straight into his little belly hello I'll show you guys how we make our little uh, our little forts on the floor so mom and Arden can have a nap together I just realized that I said feed cart. <laughs> it's not a feed cart. It's his vent cart. Hi, buddy. Hi. So I'm just going to set up our little, I don't know, our little comfy floor spot so that we can have a little lay down. Arden can have a little nap. And, you know, I'll lay down with him. He's only going to be little for so long. Right? So... We are gonna enjoy the naps together. Yeah, we can. So we use these little like lambskin um, throws, I guess you could call them maybe, that um, Brody's mom got us for Christmas. Actually, she got Arden his for Christmas. Yeah, she did. And then it was so funny because the one day I was joking and I was like, oh, now all I need is an adult size one for Arden and I to lay down together. And I kid you not, like three days later, Brody's mom showed up with an adult size one for me. Okay, so Arden is like just about asleep, so I'm gonna probably Now he's smiling at me. Oops. <laughs> he's like, just about to fall asleep. He's pretty tired. So I'm probably gonna just like lay down next to him and get him to fall asleep fully. And we'll see. We're just gonna have a little quiet time. Then 
I seriously love these moments. I'm just soaking them up because your babes are only little so long. And he loves these four naps, don't you, buddy? You like your four naps? <laughs> yeah. Now all we need to do is get you to go to sleep. Yeah. Sounds like he needs a suction right now. I can always tell when Arda needs a suction because I can hear it, like rattling in his chest, or like if I feel his chest or his back, I can feel it rattling in there as well. Yeah, let's give you a suction and then let's go to sleep. So we just finished our little floor nap. Arden slept for about an hour and a half and I actually got a little sleep in too, so that was nice. The only way I'll sleep with Arden is if I'm literally laying like face to face right next to him um, and just for a little nap during the afternoon. Um, that way if he does wake up or you know needs a suction or that kind of thing, I hear it right away and I wake up. Um, otherwise, we are not able to sleep um, while watching Arden. We have to have somebody awake with him 24 hours a day. Hello. <gasps> Arden, did you toot? Oh, stinky boy. So, floor nap's done, just did a diaper change, Arden needed a bunch of suction, and just gonna clean up this area and we'll move on to the next part of our day. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> laundry put away. So I'm actually going to bring Arden to our bedroom with me and then we're going to do that. Okay, so we're in our master bedroom and hi Arden. Hi. Arden just needed a really big suction so we had to pause for that. And I'm just going to put away some laundry, you know, that I've been avoiding for the last day or so, because that's life. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Arden's just gonna play in here while we hang out. I just got done putting my clothes and I wanted to show you guys some really cool things that I got last time I went to the thrift store. I had some people who said they would like to see kind of where I get my clothes from, that kind of thing. A lot of my clothes um, comes from the thrift store, actually. Um, so last time I went shopping uh, with my niece, Bryn, actually, I got this really cute top. Obviously it needs to be ironed or steamed or whatever, but I just thought the details on it were so cute. Like it has this really cute lace uh, sleeve. And then like the little, it's it's almost like, um, I don't know, like tatting or something around the edge here. And then like just the little lace um, design. I, I really liked it. It's really cute. Um, and then actually last weekend I found this fabric, which I thought was so cool because it's actually two meters of fabric. Um, and it's in this really pretty rust color that I like. And I thought that I might use it to recover the end chairs on our dining room table. I, I don't really like them, but we're just not in a position where I can be buying new dining chairs. So I thought that I might recover them and I found this fabric, like I say, it's two meters of it and it was only $6. So I was so excited for that find. Another thing that I found the other day was this really pretty dress and it's kind of like 
I don't know if you can see it, it's, it's kind of long, but it's really like the details are just so pretty. Like I love this color and the lace and it just, honestly, I didn't try it on before I bought it, but um, it actually fits me perfectly. And I thought that it might be fun if I like belted it. And Hi, Hi. I just wanted to show you guys um, when Arden sits in like, like when he's sitting in this little chair, for example, he does have scoliosis. So he actually curves his spine curves to the right. So when he's in a chair, which he's kind of wiggled himself around now, we actually try to support him so that I, like I put in a little blanket as a roll just to kind of support him so that he doesn't tip over that way. And then also I put in another little roll down here just to provide a little bit of pressure on that side so that side of his spine doesn't like boop. Nice music, Arden. Nice music. Yeah. been in here I I can hear Arden pounding on his drum in the background you could probably hear that while we were in here I kind of just did a little bit of organization of the purses and stuff up here I mean it's not a perfect system still but it's better than it was so did a little bit of that Arden to eat his 4.30 p.m. feed. So I'm gonna go get that ready. And yeah, so I just keep everything of Arden's in this bin. Um, so I have pre-made formula ready to go and his feed bag. So I will just get some hot water going. This is, this is where I keep all of Arden's like to be dried things like anything that needs to be air dried. Um, it was really bothering me when we came home that we had everything just like sitting out on the counter and it was so ugly. So, I mean, this isn't a perfect solution either, but at least it just keeps it hidden. So it's not just clutter sitting there. So anyways, I have this little Tupperware in here that I'll use. And we'll just get some hot water going. I really love these Pig the Pug books. <laughs> My brother Chance and his fiance Maddie got him, got art in these books and they're honestly the cutest thing ever. Like they have a pug dog named Chandler and he's so cute. <laughs> so they got art in these books for Christmas and they're just so adorable. I think we'll read those ones. And then I also really like, oh, this one. I have to make, Arden gets pretty aggressive with his books lately, so I have to make sure he doesn't like, you know, rip the flaps off. <laughs> but he he does really like looking at the pictures. So we'll read that one too. And I'm thinking maybe we'll go and snuggle in my bed to do that. Hi, buddy. Hi, baby. Do you want to read a story with mom? Do you want to read a story? Yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> We're going to snuggle up there. Yay. It's it's a struggle city every once in a while. <laughs> Trying to move Arden around, but that's okay. We make it work. Um, little man has been kind of backlogged for the last two days. <laughs> and he finally did number two, which, okay, if you're not a parent, that's TMI. If you're a parent, you know how stressful that can be. <laughs> So anyways, he finally did it, but now I'm like, okay, you're on my white bedding. <laughs> so we're going to get like a little cover to lay down and we're going to deal with that. Wish me luck. Way to save it till we're on the white bedding, Arden. <laughs> a little turkey. Okay, so this is not the easiest. Obviously we don't have much room, but I'm going to hook up Arden's feed and he's going to get some dinner.
greedy and selfish in most every way. He lived in a flat with a sausage dog, Trevor. But when was he nice to him? I'll tell you, never. So I don't often bring Arden in here just because it's not the most convenient space for us, I guess. Like you can see, it's kind of tricky to get his vent cart close enough that I can actually get him up on the bed. So Brody should be home soon. I'm, Arden and I are just gonna move back to the other room and I just have to wash out his feed bag and get a couple things ready. I'm going to be leaving. I think my mother-in-law is gonna pick me up around 6.15 for us to go to um, our little event for the Prairie Gringa Co. So we're gonna do that and yeah, should be a fun evening. Just uh, went to change Arden's humidifier pot. So on, hi buddy, on his vent cart, uh, his tubing is actually hooked into like a like a humidifier system, so that the air that he gets to his trach is warm and moist. And so I just that probably runs out that pot every like I don't know four hours ish. So, and then I just fill it with distilled water. So I'm just gonna fill the, the new one, I guess you could. I just got home from my friend Jen's house uh, and she just did her the uh, friends and family night like pre-shopping night I guess for the Prairie Gringa Co um, which is her new clothing company it's an online boutique right now but eventually she's going to be having it probably in the loft of their barn which is super cool and right now they're doing it out of like um, a trailer which uh, they call it the Gringo Wagon and it's super adorable. So I'm going to show you what I bought for that. But um, yeah, so I bought two dresses and this one, it reminds me very much of like a free people dress. Like it's so, so, so cute. So it's, yeah, it's, it's like really beautiful. It has a slip that goes underneath too. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. I think I might wear it on Saturday for Arden's like little birthday celebration. And I was thinking it would look really cute, like belted with like a little brown belt or something like that. And then I was thinking, oh, and then I got this, um, this dress too, which I really, really love. All of her stuff is so me. It's like really boho. Um, there's like, there's, there's like cowgirl stuff, like Western style, but there's also a lot of like really boho chic she, she kind of stuff. So very me. I didn't buy a hat tonight, um, even though I really wanted to. They didn't quite fit me as well as I wanted to, so she's actually going to be getting in some new hats soon. So I think I'm going to wait out, wait for those. And uh, um, yeah, so I got this dress as well, which I really love. The like balloon kind of sleeves and just how like flowy and pretty it is. Um, I really like these kind of dresses because, you know, you can wear them in summer. Um, but if you want, you know, in the winter, I wear them with tights, a belt, um, jazz it up with some little ankle booties. Um, but in the summer, they can be worn with flats. I really love this style. So it's just, and it's like the prettiest, I don't know, the flowers are like, kind of like an orange, like coral. I 
don't know it's just beautiful so I'm very excited about it um, yeah so um, when I got home Brody and Arden were watching hockey that's like literally the only time that I allow Arden to watch TV is he gets to watch Oilers hockey with his dad so they were snuggled on the couch watching hockey and so that's what they're doing right now having a little boys evening and yeah, I felt really rejuvenated just getting to like go out and have some fun with some girls and, you know, socially distanced fun, obviously masks and all that jazz that we now deal with, but it was still a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, um, now I'm going to, we're just going to get ready for the evening, probably going to get some of Arden's night care going. Um, yeah, so we'll have to do tray care, G2 care, get him in his jammies, um, yeah, and get him ready for bedtime soon. So that's what's next. So just did Arden's night care for the night, and yeah, tray care, G2 care, got him in his jammies, beauty care, all that jazz, and now he's ready to go to sleep. So he's in his little bed, all snuck in for the night. <laughs> staring at me right now. Like, Mom, what are you doing? <laughs> All tucked in for the night. Say goodnight, Arden. Good night, baby. <laughs> Have a good sleep. Say goodnight, guys. Okay, terrible lighting because kind of dark in here but I have our room like nighttime lighting so it's like peaceful <laughs> at least that's the goal anyways um Brody and I are just watching the office to kind of wind down he was doing some work in his shed and I was actually just editing some stuff um and just looking kind of what I'm gonna write on the blog in the next little bit but uh Arden is asleep and his caregiver is here um Honestly, Arden's caregiver is just like the bomb. <laughs> Both of them actually. We have two right now and they're so amazing. Honestly, you know, they're in our home all the time, like, you know, uh, during the night and stuff when we're asleep. So, you know, they become part of the family and they're really incredible. So, um, it really puts me at ease for nighttime, able to sleep and just relax, which is so great and so important. So I'm just going to get ready for the night, um, put on my pajamas, just relax and settle in. So yeah, anyways, see ya. I really hope you enjoyed getting a little bit of a glimpse into our world today. If you did, again, like, subscribe to our channel and yeah, let me know what you liked or what you wanna see next time in the comments. Take care and see you next time.